Hi, I'm Kurt Sandvig with Red Carpet Report, coming to you from beautiful downtown Burbank at the 41st Annual Saturn Awards. I like your look. Well, thank you. Uh, it's, <laughs> you. It's a little bit in the vein that you do. It's a little are, bit of a ghosting. Are you for the new Ghostbuster? I, I should be if you, if you get a chance. Come on, hire me. So your niche seems to be horror, and you seem to do very well at horror movies. What, what, what got you into that niche? Good question. Um, you know, um, it's a couple of things, but like you see, when I when I grew up, actually, my my biggest interest was comics, and through comics, I got into horror. For example, all the great horror movies that I wasn't allowed to see as a kid, I knew from Mad Magazine, which tells you everything about my warped outlook on the horror genre. Hey, I read Mad Magazine also, and it does make a lot of sense with the, what you do. It really does. It's warped. You're right. It, 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 it was my first interview when I came to America. I did not dare to even attempt being a director. I thought that this for the immortals. And my first interview was on Madison Avenue at Mad Magazine. Wow. You went right for Mad Magazine. That's amazing. It's true. But you know, also growing up in Germany, to see a movie, it would take a year till we get them. It took a long time to synchronize. Not like now where like some Marvel movie comes out and you see it all over the world. Oh yeah, the whole world. Right yeah. away. So I would have Star Wars bed sheets. I would hear the John Williams score. I would have the toys. You know, I would have the making of books. And when it came, we were like so amped up. And the truth was, the same was true for, you know, movies like Friday the 13th or, you know, Halloween or, or, or Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, you know, essentially I make those movies for the 16-year-old and me. So tell us a little bit about Exeter real quick. Exeter is something that Steven Schneider brought to me. He just came off these incredible successes with Paranormal Activity. And he says, if you make a movie for nothing, I get it done. So I said, thank you. <laughs> he said, I said to him, one condition. It's not going to be a remake, and it's not going to be a found footage movie. Because we're sort of like guilty of um, oh, sure. polluting the waters with both. And we said, we do something really original. I said, like, look, my favorite movie always was The Exorcist, for sure, as far as horror goes. And, uh, but we decided it always happens to very special people, uh, families that are very affluent, movie stars like Alan Burstyn. Sure. And we wanted to happen to the fanboys and to the kids that actually watch these kind of movies. And they're experts. They know exactly what to do. They just do what Max von Sydow does to rid somebody's little brother. You know. Oh, no, that's great. Thank, thank you so much for talking to me. I really appreciate it.